Chapter 2 Dance In the midst of a gentle rainstorm, in the late afternoon, on a cool day, a female child was born. Her parents were Anella and Kokua, and this was their first child. After she was born, both parents decided to name her Kelana because she was born with her eyes wide open, staring at the sky, and she did not cry. Immediately after Kailana was born, the entire Lokahi tribe gathered to celebrate her birth. Each tribe member approached her, smiled, touched her face, and gave thanks to the island for providing such a beautiful mystery somebody who would live in harmony, unity, and agreement with them. Kailana's mother, Anella, she loved to sing. She used her voice to sing and hum and provide comfort as she went about her daily tasks. Anella loved to use her voice, which was her mana, her unique talent, strength, and gift. Kilana's father, Kokua, he liked to work with his hands. He used his hands to create comfortable and safe ways for the children to enjoy life. He created toys made from coconut shells and games made from stones and sand. And he told stories with his hands that kept all the children entertained. This was his mana. As a little girl, Kailana paid attention to what her mother and father were teaching her. With her mother's humming and singing and her father's working with his hands, Kailana soon developed a unique talent and gift all her own, the healing dance. The first time Kailana did a healing dance was when she was only three years old. On this day, Kailana's mother was feeling poorly. Anella had a headache and she was lying down trying to heal it. Kokua was helping another member of their tribe build a structure and so he could not help. Kailana heard the moans and groans of her mother and desperately wanted to help. She looked up toward the sky and heard a voice which said, dance for her. Kailana felt energy moving throughout her arms, legs, hips and shoulders as she thought of her mother's pain. She found her body moving in a unique sort of dance that combined the sound of her mother's humming voice with her father's use of his hands.